டென் நைன் எயிட் செவன் சிக்ஸ் ஃபைவ் ஃபோர் த்ரீ டூ ஒன் ஜீரோ ப்ளஸ் ஃபைவ் செகண்ட்ஸ் lift off normal p1 here training. we have a majestic lift off of lbm 3 m4 rocket carrying india's prestigious chandrayaan 3 spacecraft asma meri sarhad nahi chand meri manzil nahi sab ka mangal ho kyunki mujhe suraj ke paar aur bhi jahan talashne hain jai hind india has successfully launched chandrayaan 3 mission today afternoon What a proud historical moment. ISRO's Bahubali rocket, GSLB Mark III, renamed as LBM-3 Mark IV, lifted off India's much-coveted moon mission, Chandrayaan-3, at 2.30 p.m. sharp today afternoon from Satish Dhawan Space Center, Shar Sri Harikota. LBM-3 Mark IV successfully placed the Chandrayaan-3 in precise intended elliptical moon orbit minutes after the launch. Chandrayaan 3 has started its journey towards moon our dear lvm 3 has already put chandrayaan 3 craft into the precise orbit around earth 170 by 36500 km was its intended target orbit and it is precisely there now and let us wish all the best for the chandrayaan 3 craft to make its further orbit racing maneuvers and travel towards moon in the coming days So let me wish all the very best to Chandrayaan 3 for its further journey towards moon. LVM3 is a three-stage rocket equipped with two solid fuel boosters and a liquid fuel core stage. The solid fuel boosters provided the initial thrust while the liquid fuel core stage ensured sustained thrust to propel the rocket into orbit. If India's moon mission Chandrayaan 3 gets successful, India will become the fourth country to have successfully landed a rover on the moon after US Soviet Union now better known as Russian Federation and the People's Republic of China India is lagging in a space race despite being fastest growing economy all three countries have not only landed their spacecraft on moon successfully they including China have also landed rover on the mars however United States of America is the only country in the world to have landed a human on moon so far. No human has ever landed on Mars so far. However, the world has acknowledged India's contribution of Chandrayaan-1 in November 2008 when it successfully touched moon surface at desired time and location of choice and discovered conclusive evidence of water on moon. in the following year in 2009 nations are exploring moon especially the water on moon as moon can provide a launch pad for future interplanetary human missions on mars and space exploration india has unsuccessfully attempted to land its spacecraft on moon on 6 september 2019 during chandrayaan 2 mission no indian can forget These pictures when PM Modi hugged the then ISRO chief K7 as his eyes doubled with tears after Chandrayaan 2 lander Vikram lost contact with control room in the wake of hard landing ISRO scientists never bogged down in the event of a failure and they prove their acumen might spirit and scientific achievement by developing own cryogenic engine when our trusted friend Russia backed off its proposal to transfer the technology to india and suspended its agreement invoking force measure under clinton administration if you remember now it would be 45 days when we would be waiting the landing of our rover the lander and then rover on the surface of the moon from now onwards but today when chandrayaan 3 mission was launched almost at the same time indian prime minister mr narendra modi showcased his bahubal with india's tri service contingent marching in bestel day parade while indian air force aircraft performed a fly past on national day parade of the france chandrayaan 3 successful launch meant everything went well 
and they will be light on the landing site during one moon day or 14th earth days so this is uh, the itinerary of the moon uh, mission chandrayaan 3 india lift off its mission chandrayaan 3 using most powerful rocket uh, lvm3 exactly 3 years 10 months and 8 days after chandrayaan 2 mission the chandrayaan 3 mission does not has uh, an orbiter like its predecessor as chandrayaan 2 uh, though uh, failed but have successfully put the orbiter and it is still working fine and the same uh, perhaps would be used for the latest mission chandrayaan 3 has three modules one is propulsion module the the second one is lander module and the third one is the rover module chandrayaan 3 launched by lvm3 mark 4 from sgsc charge rehelicopter will fill indians with pride and will be a milestone for spacefaring india scientific journey into the future happy to report here that the lvm3 m4 vehicle has injected the chandrayaan 3 satellite to the uh, precise orbit uh, and once again the vehicle is proved to be the most reliable heavy lift vehicle of Indian Space Research Organization. Congratulations to the teamwork of ISRO family. The propulsion module uh, will carry the lander and rover configuration till 100 kilometers lunar orbit. The propulsion module has spectropolymetry of habitable planet Earth shape payload to study the spectral and polarimetric measurements of Earth from the lunar orbit. The lander payload Chandra's surface thermophysical experiment which is known as CHAST to measure the thermal conductivity and temperature instrument for lunar seismic activity that is uh, ILSA for measuring the seismic around uh, the landing site and language probe to estimate the plasma density and its variation. A passive laser petro reflector IRA from NASA is accommodated for lunar laser ranging studies. Rover payloads, the alpha particle X-ray spectrometer and laser including breakdown spectroscope for driving the elemental composition in the vicinity of the landing site. According to ISRO, Chandrayaan-3 consists of an indigenous lander module, propulsion module and a rover with an objective of developing and demonstrating new technologies required for interplanetary mission. You heard it right, interplanetary missions. The lander will have the capability to soft land at a specified lunar site and deploy the rover which will carry out in situ chemical analysis of the lunar surface during the course of the mobility. However, it is going to take some more days. The lander and the rover have scientific payloads to carry out experiments on the lunar surface. The main function of propulsion module is to carry the lander module from launch vehicle injection till final lunar 100 km circular orbit, polar orbit and separate the lander module from the propulsion module. Apart from this, the propulsion module also has one scientific payload as a value addition which will be operated post separation of lander module. The launcher identified for Chandrayaan-3 is GSLV Mark III as you know with most powerful cryogenic engine. All our spacecraft health parameters are normal including the power generations in both propulsion module and lander module. Our, our journey to moon has begun now for the most awaited soft landing. We will be closely monitoring and controlling the spacecraft from East track Bangalore. Uh, many critical events are lined up starting from earthbound maneuvers, insertion into the lunar orbit and separation of lander and set of deboost maneuvers and finally the power descent phase for a soft landing. I take this opportunity to thank Chairman Isro, Director URSC and all the center directors for entrusting me this opportunity who are behind, who, who have been the motivational and guidance force uh, behind this mission. My special thanks to Chandrayaan-3 project executives, associate project director Kalpana, deputy project directors, project managers across the ISRO, ISRO centers uh, who, have, who have provided an excellent support in building the spacecraft. My special thanks to the, the expert committees for their constant guidance throughout the various stages of the project. 
I also thank the, uh, uh, the various uh, work centers and industries who have contributed directly and indirectly to this mission. My special thanks to URSC council members, group directors, deputy directors across the ISRO centers. And uh, this, uh, looking forward for the soft landing with all your wishes and blessings from the God. Thank you. The mission objective of the Chandrayaan 3 are to demonstrate safe and soft landing on the lunar surface. Number two is to demonstrate rover roving on the moon and to conduct in situ chemical experiments. According to ISRO, to achieve the mission objectives, several advanced technologies are present in lander. Several lander spatial tests have been conducted and carried out successfully and those are integrated cold tests for the demonstration of integrated sensors and navigation performance test using helicopter as the test platform, integrated hot test for the demonstration of closed loop performance test with sensors, actuators and NGC using tar crane as test platform lander leg mechanism performance test on a lunar similar test bed simulating different touchdown conditions. These have also been studied for a possible human mission to Mars, including a landing, but none have been attempted. Soviet Union's Mars 3, which landed in 1971, was the first successful Mars landing. As of 2022, the Soviet Union, Russia, United States and China have conducted Mars landings successfully. If we talk about lander payloads, then Chandra's surface thermophysical experiment. The chest is to measure the thermal conductivity as I told you and the temperature instrument for the lunar seismic activity. So these are some of the very important uh, aspects of the Chandrayaan mission. Uh, so the lander will attempt soft landing in south region of the moon with shallow crater water, ice and precious minerals. So those are the interest areas. Chandrayaan 3 lander scientific equipment will study moon quakes and one will also study how surface allows the heat to flow through it as I told you earlier. The third one will study the plasma environment near moon surface and the fourth will help that, uh, measure the distance between the earth and moon very accurately. The two instruments on the rover would help study the composition of moon surface with laser and x-rays while the lander uh, and the rover will be in direct in contact with each other. The propulsion module circling the moon uh, will observe the light coming from earth. And how this will help? This will help in understanding the nature of distant planet circling stars uh, other than the sun. Thank you, Team ISRO, for making India proud. <laughs> and thank you, Honorable PM Narendra Modi ji, for having made this possible by unlocking the gates of Sri Hari Kota and enabling the India's space sector. You would recall, Honorable Prime Minister had very recently said, sky is not the limit. And living by his words, I think the Chandrayaan today has gone beyond the limits of sky to discover the unexplored horizons of the universe beyond. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this day today, the 14th of July, 2023, is also a day of vindication. Vindication of the dream that Vikram Sarabhai saw six decades ago. He might have been short of resources, but never short of confidence. And when we see those pictures of a launcher vehicle being carried on the carriage of a bicycle, without any remorse, without any slightest embarrassment, that is because Vikram and his team had faith in themselves, faith in India's potential, faith in India's acumen. And today, here, we are vindicating and we are reiterating India's indigenous capabilities, living up to the ideal of Atma Nirbhar Bharat. So, National Defense congratulates uh, our uh, fellow Indians and uh, we salute uh, ISRO scientists for this marvelous feat. We are so proud of ISRO scientists and we wish all the best 
एंड सक्सेस फॉर फ्यूचर मिशन एंड द जर्नी ऑफ द चंद्रयान थ्री जय हिंद वंदे मातरम